going on out there YouTube this is your host Beastie Boy Drummer and I'm here with another RCT3 tutorial and this one is a little bit more advanced we're gonna be doing advanced coaster building for this tutorial here let me go ahead and get into it get into it and this right here is for the um for people oh I'm about to quit already <laughs> this this uh, tutorial is for people that already have watched the basic um basic roller coaster tutorial and you already know how to do that pretty much so now we're going to move on to the advanced coasters. Uh, let me see what coaster to be. I don't, don't want to do any water or inverted, I mean suspended or wooden. I think I'm just going to do a regular, um, let me think, good coaster, good coaster. What may you be? I need a good coaster for this demonstration. I think the best one possible is like the best coaster in the whole on on the whole game. I mean, I, I I was recently put onto this coaster when I was doing one of my live streams. Somebody uh told me about it and they said I should build one. I never knew exactly what it was, but it's extended coaster. I build a lot of these now. Extended coasters are beast, and you can change them up to like any way, like any like any type of car that you want to put them on. But it's for like anything that's suspended though. And let's go ahead and get it start it first off I'm gonna turn on my uh I like to see my ground marker so I can see how far I want to put it away from the actual path here since was, since this one's gonna be more advanced this one like if like a big coaster that you want to put on one of your big parts you got a lot of money or if, if you're just playing a uh, sandbox and you want to build a nice coaster this is something that you could do let's take it back um I'm still going to stick, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit back, a little bit further, because I do. I want to do a little bit for the station, so I'm going to go back a little bit further, and we are doing the advanced coasters now, so uh, I'm not going to start this off on the ground, I'm going to start off up in the air, all you have to do is hold down the shift button to move your mouse up, just like I said in the previous video, on how to do the scenery, the same way with the coasters, so you can start it off in the air, because some people, they start it off on the ground and then build it up to the spot that they want to build it and then like erase it and then just move it backwards. But you don't have to do all that. I think I want to take it eight notches up. Let me see. I think that will be perfect. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do six. Six sounds like a good number. I'm still stick with how I did my basic uh, coasters. I always, I, I usually do about six trains, six uh, station blocks. Then I test out my car, see how long I want my cars to be. Um, when you're doing advanced coasters, you can change up your cars, change your car type. So this is the extended car right here. Or you can go to a floorless car, hyper twist car, hyper twist wide, twister coaster wow they got a lot stand up twister and the regular extended i think i'm gonna go with the um the hyper twist wide i like the way this looks and i'm gonna have about two trains on it probably two trains that are five that are five five cars per train that's pretty good and there's four people sit each car so that's like 20 people on each train so a total a total of 40 people can get on this ride at a time when, when both trains are running so, so that's starting off pretty good. Usually, um, when I start off in the air, I may like go around somewhere or take the take my um my chain lift right or like around to another uh like I may like do something like this right here, start going down, then then pretty much uh go around. Then like start my chain lift coming up this way or something like that, but I think I may just like start my chain lift going straight up. So I, I could do it like this right here. That's how I usually uh, do my trains. Just depends on just depends on how, how your how your park is laid out. Depends on where you want to take your train at. But this one I'm just gonna have it going. Um, I could do that. I am I am gonna do this. I am gonna do it. I'm gonna drop it down to the floor probably to the actual ground level. I have it coming around this way here. 
That's what we're gonna start our chain lift for LP this way. So it look pretty cool once I get it together. Don't forget to turn your height markers on so you can see how high you do want to make your coaster. Um, for this advanced coaster, I think I'm gonna make it at 200 feet. I mean, I don't want to make the coaster too long. The higher you go, the longer the coaster has to be because it's gonna be going so fast. Unless you got pit brakes to slow it down or something like that. It's looking pretty high now. I don't even know if I want to go to 200. Try to do this real quick. I'm gonna say about 150. That's that's how I'm gonna go with it. 150. 153. That's cool. All right. Now that I done finished my chain lift, now I can like put it in test mode so the coaster can go now. Make sure they start off right. And as you can see with the more advanced coasters, you have a lot to choose from. A lot, a lot. Especially with the extended coaster. You can do almost anything. Try this out right here. See what, see what this is like. You gotta be careful not to uh, tear up your ground either, though. If if you if you uh, like your land and you don't want to tear it up, but some people just like go do it does it anyways. First starting off, um, first big drop. Best thing to do is uh, not major curves on your first big drop. Pit like a loop or something like that. What I'm gonna do this close right here. I'm gonna pick the large loop. Large loop heading left. I could make it go right, I believe. That's what I think I'm going to do. Alright, we still got good, pretty good speed. Now let's see if we can do an overbank curve. Oh yes, that's good. Large old bank curve. So I need it. But when you're doing uh, more advanced codes, you have to put like a lot of big heels in it also. I know some people like to put like a lot of loops and cork screws and stuff like that, but you gotta put like some, some good riding time for the heels too though. If not, it's gonna be like way too intense for them. So, so this right here, this right here is a good heifer too. Then I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna do uh a half a loop. Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna do another uh, large loop, but it's gonna it's only gonna be half of it. So I could do uh, well that's a half loop opposite, but uh, I'm gonna do um, let's do a, a large. See a half loop is only small. I'm gonna do a large, large half loop. Head into the right. Then we're gonna change it up a little bit here. Wow, that would be crazy. <laughs> That's what I like about these big because you can do a lot of stuff. Go back around um, this way over here. Let's see what that stuff do I have. I have a quarter loop. I think I'm just gonna uh, core screw it to the right here. Large core screw to the right. All right, now here I'm, I'm about to drop it down a little bit. See, I'm gonna see if we can fit a small loop around um, around this overbank curve here. Let's 
do just a regular loop. No, no, it looks like it worked though, right? Here we are. Here we are. It's nice. And that's a good thing to do too, just to like interact with with like whatever track pieces you've already put down that that'll help out your coaster also. And for right here for this general area, it's like um well after after you start off because you go pretty much can take out the height markers, but but uh, what I'm trying to do with this general area is like I like building my coasters in set places, so I'm trying to build in just in this general area here before I make it go back over here. I like these right here. These these are pretty nice. And remember when you do advanced coasters, remember, remember bank curves. You must have bank curves. Right here, I have a couple of loops in here, so, so I'm about to start pinning like some big hills in here now, just some riding time. So that's some riding time for the coaster. And this coaster can go straight up and down, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it for this coaster. I'm just going to have it like this. And right here, that's why I'm going to put my big heel at here. Know what I'm about to do back now? I'm about to have it coming around this way, do a little bit more stuff inside of here now. Make sure it's still going pretty good here over this stuff. Oh, yes, it's zooming. Yes. Cool. I like it. I like it. I'm going to do one of these uh, curves that's like almost on the ground. It looks like a big one here. Yep, yeah, pick me where I need to be. Pick another heel here a little bit. I'm gonna change that pop. I also do steep hills a lot, but I'm, I'm gonna do a couple of gentle hills so I won't kill too many people. I'm gonna do something for the ground here for this part, so that's why I'm gonna put this little barrel roll here. Yeah, probably hit two barrel rows there. This is zooming too. I may have to slow it down a bit somewhere. Another good thing that can help out your coast is make them look a lot better. See, when I did this barrel row here, I did it going to the right side. So when I come off this barrel row, I'm gonna have it banking also to the right. So it still look like it's turning the exact same way that it was going. Then I'm gonna have it hit this bank curve here. I think I'm gonna have it going up just to slow it down a little bit. Just to go up and around a little bit. But maybe not. Maybe a terrible idea. 
All right, I know what I'm gonna do here. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go back and erase these uh, barrel rows and make them go the opposite way because I'm having curving the uh, opposite way. So I'm gonna have these barrel rows going left. Then my bank it to the left. I'm gonna see if I can go over over this path here or under it, one or the other. This may be a little bit sharp, but it may not be too bad since it's going up. But I'm gonna have the smaller one going up and then I'm gonna put a bigger one here. Yes, that's perfect, because then I'm gonna have it going back between the big loop here. Yeah, that'd be perfect. All right, we should slow down a little bit now. That's the only thing, that's the biggest uh, problem about your uh, your big coasters. You just got to check, make sure the speed is not entirely too fast. So I'm just going to bring it up enough here just to slow it down. Then I'm going to drop it down. See if I can hit a uh, corkscrew here. Large corkscrew would be nice. Large corkscrew. Ah, no, it didn't work. Seem like a good idea. Let's try a smaller one. No. I think I'm just gonna have it go back <clears throat> in between where I was going at here. Just back this way. Hit another little loop here. And now I think I'm, uh, that's pretty much enough for right there, that little area. I think I'm pretty much about to, about to, uh, end it here, here in a minute. I mean, you can go forever with these coasters, just how, how much money you got, or how much you're trying to do, how much money or space that you have available. That's, that's pretty much it. I'm picking me an on ride photo section here. I didn't pick one of those. Make sure I pick one of these here. I'm gonna see if I can make it go, if it can actually go under here. Cool. And right now I'm actually under the actual track here. So I'm, I gotta find a way to get it around it here. I'll probably just hit a couple curves or something here. Let's do a large bank curve here. Have it going diagonal for a minute. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Just to, uh, cause I don't, I don't, I don't want to hit that tight curve right there. Maybe going a little bit too fast. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit more actually. Make it go around here. Uh, I can't even do that. I thought it would work, but it, it, it's not gonna work. And here I'm just gonna come back to the end of the station here. Now all I have to do is just find my way back to the station here. And I'm, I'm gonna let them know that the ride's about to end. I'm not gonna put any like type of loose anything back there.
here's where I'm, where I'm going to pick my brake set to slow it down. I'm going to see how fast it's going, actually, when it gets back here. But I probably would slow down. I, I may could have put a little, like a little hill or something right here. I may, I may do that, actually. Just a little, something a little bit more exciting. Just depends on how fast it's going. Uh, let me check my height markers here. Oh, I'm at the right height, but what do you know? What do you know? Let's go ahead uh start breaking down. You have, make sure you have to do that uh with your advanced coasters. You're usually going this at this speed right here, when you get closer to the end, the best the best brake speed will be about 20, then just start breaking it down from there. So I'm gonna break it down to about 20 then. 17 just go down each time it's slower and slower and break it down to 13 here then right here at the end I'm gonna have a block break and what a block break does is it's actually um it's either it either can speed your uh, speed the cart up or it can slow it down just depends on what speed it is Wherever uh, speed the, uh, your, your train is going at, it's going to make it go at this speed right here. So when it gets to the last speed, if, if it slowed down way past uh, 15 or 13, however low I had the brakes here, when it get hit to this last brake, it's going to boost it up to 13 or it's going to slow it down to 13. That way they can get around this curve here. And there we have it. I, will, I'm, I am going to put it like a little, uh, little heel here. Let's go ahead and put that entrance and exit. I don't want to test this out just yet because I'm going to do something else to it. That's a good thing too. To, uh, if you want to like go and add little pieces like little stuff that you might have missed here and there. It's a good thing to do. Please be enough news. A little bit too big. There we are. Just a little heel at the end. Make it a little bit more exciting. And there we have it now. Let's go ahead and uh, test it out. We're going to test ride it also. This is it right here. Let's let's see what the uh, the stats be on it. And there we have it. That is our advanced coaster. Hope y'all learned a lot from this. Let's check out the stats to make sure it's legit. Pretty sure it's going to be though. Yep, 7.6, 7.2, 3.5. And there we have it. This has been your host, Beastie Boy Drummer. Thank y'all for tuning in. Go on.